Hello, welcome to SARIS training. And this training will pass through three items. The first one is how to log in to the SARIS. The second one is course registration. And the third one is how to view the academic records. So before doing anything, first you need to know where are you going to find the SARIS. So the first step is just open up your browser and uh, in your browser just write uh, 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 www.out.ac.tz which is university website in a university website uh, we have two places where we can locate a service the first one is in online course online services you'll find a service there and another place you just scroll down and uh, in online e-resources you will find a service there so just pick up a service and click now you are you are in a login page so you 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 have to to write your username and password there so just write a username yeah, this one and uh, write your password. Then click sign in. You now in a service system. So in a service system, we just do the following activities. First, as we see there, login. We now in the service system. The second one is course registration. So we'll see how a student can register the courses, academic records, e-learning we'll see there, e-voting, communication, security, and sign out. Now we are going to course registration. So just click course registration. Uh, at first, you, you'll have no courses which is has been registered so you just need to add one by one so just add the courses that you are going to study in a new academic year so just register a course by by clicking add a new course then you will have a list of courses there so you just go to a search by course code now just click in a box, then write a course code to search for the course. Uh, the first one is OFP012, just search, you will see a course there, click add course. Now the course will be added as uh, academic year, course code, course title, unit, unit cost, total cost, and the option. If you are you 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 if you want to change you can delete and add a new cause so if you have another cause just click add a new cause again and search for cause you want to register OFP 013 then search the cause will be there just click add now you have another Causes. So you have been, you have registered two causes. Uh, then uh, there are uh, all options there. So just add another cause by clicking add a new cause. Just search for cause OFP 016. Search the cause will be there. Click add another one so just click another add new course until you are all courses for new academic year are finished so just click add new course search for another course or fp 017 click search the course will be there click add now after finishing to add your all courses for new academic year then in order to proceed with another pro, with another step you need to confirm the course registration but you have to make sure that these uh, courses that you are going to 
start for academic year so just now click here to confirm your course registration but you have to note that confirmation should be the last step as once done there is no way to roll or to undo it therefore handle confirmation with care so if you are sure just click here to confirm your registration now confirmation process completed is successful you now need to print the invoice so that to, to, to get the cause information. Now print invoice is another step in a cause registration. We print an invoice, then will be downloaded there. You will see all causes, uh, cost fee items, first installment, due date second installment and other informations and there at the, at the top you will see the student information now the another step is just to see bills and payment and to create a Moodle password after completing the course registration printing invoice and checking for bills and payment you now need to generate or to create a Moodle password but before that you have to make sure that you have paid the first installment of the fee as indicated in your invoice now after paying the first installment just click create Moodle password then you will see the box which is enter SIP code so. now SIP code is has been generated in your invoice so you can check for for your invoice and copy the SIP code now this is your invoice and this is SIP code or invoice number just copy it then go to your Sorry, system enter SIP code then paste it there then click create Moodle password now your Moodle password is that one and please use your username and password that's one to, to, to log into learning management system